Hello guys, the crew here for the Kalus Invitational 6. We are here with a winner bracket uh, series between Batman Afi and ABR, which are highly successful ADV players, and not only ADV players, but uh, just Smogon players in general. And, um, I think it is a super hype matchup for this early in the tournament, and I'm very happy to, to commentate it, so yeah, let's go right away. We have some port lead into Medisham lead, and we'll have just Wicom coming and Celebi coming. Okay, so nothing's happened really. Um, I bear with the the quite the the advantage, but yeah, taking taking an ice beam and Wicom probably going oh on the red ice on the bottom pass, and bliss. Okay, so now there is a boom threatened. Will it be clicked? Nope. And there will be a toxic on the Wicom, which I think doesn't matter, uh, because if it were to matter, the Wicom wouldn't have come. And now there is a what looks to be a bent Medicham clicking focus punch. Okay, it's not. It's a Lumberry. Okay, it's Lumberry lead Medicham, I think. So some pot coming on the Shadow Ball here. Yeah. And will he go to Suicun or predict the double switch? Yeah, going to Suicun on the Earthquake. There is no reason not to click Earthquake here. And there will probably be a rest. No, Calming first. Uh, but no, there will be Earthquake. And now you are forced to rest. And if there is a war, you might be in trouble. Product rest, yeah. I don't understand this. This product, it's obvious that this weapon has rest, in my opinion. Scam coming in, uh, Charizard coming on the spike, okay. And Oblition will be double switched, uh, yeah. But there is a strong port, so yeah, don't work. And now we have a huge earthquake on the bridge ice. Uh, no product, but yeah. Oh, there is HP grass. Oh, that's cool. That's very, very cool. I if that's HP grass, that's super cool. But nah, it would have clicked Ice Beam if he predicted Skarmory. So, yeah, if, it, if that was HP Fire, it would have been clicked here. Oh, the freeze is quite good here because now the Jice will take well less damage. Medicham come in and Charizard. Oh, there is a sub, and oh, there is a lead Shiberi. It wasn't a lum, and now we have a focus punch, and we have a dead Charizard here, right? Yeah, it's dead as fuck. And now, some part will come a huge break break. Yeah, take a oh, huge, yeah, not really, but I guess that's fine because now it's in Charizard range. Red Ice comes, clicking HP Grass. Yeah, and now will it click the boom? Will it click Ice Beam? I would click Ice Beam on the Magneton coming. Yep, good move. Swamp Lost comes in. Do you just go Charizard and threaten the HP Fire? The HP Grass? Oh, yes, yeah, Wicoon. I guess it's fine because you can wake up. Oh, he clicked Earthquake. Okay. Pretty bold move from ABR, but I guess it makes sense. Nobody is gonna boom on the on the obvious product. And Blissey comes on the Suicune to like force force a rest, which is uh, super logical. Red Ice comes in on the Toxic, but it's a Thunderbolt, but it doesn't kill. And no, we will have a boom on Skarmory probably. Yeah, does zero, but better than nothing. Uh, Charizard comes, and no, Metagross comes on the double switch, trying to catch Blissey, so there's probably no focus punch. Skarmory comes on the mash, there's a yeah, raise. Uh, do we have Rock Slide? We have mash again, so if that's an Agility Gross, it's, it is a non-Rock Slide one. Okay, so that's probably Agility, agility uh, Rock Slide Metagross here. Um, it would seem to be the case anyway, seeing the team. That is a Vapiculo tech that makes you beat stall if you are the last Pokemon. Yeah, usually, usually if a Swampert is dead, obviously, but yeah, there is a lot of Swampert lure and abusers. So I would assume this is the ID. Celebi comes on the mash and it's not dead. Uh, no raise. Uh, will we have recover here? Yep. And we will have. Oh, it's explosion. So, nope. Uh, it wasn't agility teams. Or was it agility rock slide boom and no earthquake, which seems pretty awkward. Yeah, now we have. Oh, we don't have focus punch with sub. 
Is that Petaya Berry Sunny Day Charizard? If it has Sunny Day, it would have clicked it. So, no, it is Sunny Day. Okay, he knows he tanks the Thunderbolts now. And there will probably be Blast Burn here? No, just Fire Blast. Oh, Fire Blast kills. Okay. Uh, that's huge. And no Blast Burn? Or do, 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 do Fire Blast kill? Fire Blast seems to kill. Or he was just checking for product. Nope, Fire Blast doesn't click, uh, kill, but he probably don't have Blast Burn. Anyway, Dog Trio is gonna kill the Swampert. And even with with that, uh, the Suicune looks uh, like it's winning. Yeah, I guess we just sack the Dog Trio anyway. So there is no Perth or Scamory Roaring shit that can happen. Even if the Swampert leaves, it's not a big deal. You just want to sack your Dog Trio and clean the game with Suicune. Yeah, the creator probably kills anyway, and even if that doesn't kill, it doesn't matter. You just like the Dog Trio now. Yeah, take your three spikes, uh, doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, it could matter. Okay, double edge to kill yourself. I guess that's fine, but now there will be whirlwind, so... So yeah, that's not over. You want to take as much damage as possible with Dog Trio to... Be, to kill yourself with the spikes ASAP. Okay, so here you can surf once, yeah. Because next time you come, you will be able to rest. So now you just spam the edge. Also prevent the scam from healing too much. So yeah, it's spamming product to try to get heals because he's in surf range, right? Um, yep. He's in, no, it's not he in, in, in surf range right now, so there is a rest, and there will be a roar, which makes a lot of sense, and now the crow is dead to spikes. Um, it will just continue to double edge, I think, yeah, because if Skarmory roars, uh, the crow is gonna be dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, it has to roar uh, to get uh, 25 more damage on the Suicune, 25%, but... Uh, you just take your turn of sleep, uh, and the crew is dead, and Suicune so comes back, and Skarmory... Ah, uh, can we have, like, huge crit on Drill Pack or something? Yeah, the Skarmory doesn't even touch it. Uh, so it is over, just click CMs, and... Nah, just click Surf, yeah. There is Toxic. Yeah, you have Rest, you have everything. Um, he, I don't think uh, Skarmory can either PP stall uh, the Rest and win on Toxic, so... Yeah, he's just clicking raw, so so the Suicune just uh, ki oh no, he's clicking protect now. I don't know what he's trying to do, but he's trying it. Just click rest, and yeah, it doesn't matter if the game goes long. Yeah, just click rest and tell him, okay, bro, what are we gonna do? Yeah, GG, IBR, IBR uh, knows uh, Ban Malafi is not gonna choke it, and he's just uh, leaving the game, uh, forfeiting, and yeah, GG. So we'll go into game two. If Ban Manafi wins this one, uh, he's the one staying in the winner bracket. And if uh, ABR wins it, uh, there will be a game three. So, well, let's see. Salamence on Tyrone Inter, so that could be a bonded brick break. So will ABR stay, stay? No, there is Gengar coming on the brick break. So that was uh, quite a good call. And there is Leftovers, so that looks to be a mix mens. And there will be Skarmory on Blissey trying to get the spikes up. Spikes and Thunderbolt, uh, that looks to be modest, and that's a para, so yeah, that's quite good for for Ban Manafi, especially, yeah, ABR Sim doesn't look that weak to Mixmen, so uh, Scarm Toxicing it isn't like the main way to deal with it, which is, um, which means that the para and the damage are not really relevant for the moment, because we don't know what Ban Manafi has. Uh, in the back, so there is a Wish Thunder Wave uh, Blissey, which is quite rare to my understanding, so that's that's quite uh, a funny set from, well not funny, but like um, a, a good uh, take from IBR, and we'll see how, how that goes. There is two spikes already, and there is a Fire Punch, okay, and there is a Drill Pack, okay, interesting. Fire Punch obviously deals less damage than T-Bolt, so Batman is quite happy. And he will even get the second drill pack. 
Um, this way, Gengar cannot be healed by Blissey, if I managed to play it correctly. I, to my understanding, there is nothing that does less than... If, if it did that, it's because he's quite sure he can prevent the wish coming into Gengar. Otherwise, he wouldn't have pushed for the damage. Uh, and there will be a crit on HP bug, which is huge. Gengar will come, and this Tyranitar will probably be sacked. No, Jirosh is coming, okay, keeping the sack. Uh, on the explosion, okay. Oh, that was... That was quite a play for my BR. Uh, if the Tyranitar stayed. So Tyranitar is gonna be sacked right now. But there is the DD. Okay, uh, Tyranitar is gonna stay and will die, okay. Salamence is gonna come, but there will be the DD again. No, it's a mixman, so it can just click Dragon Claw, but it's dead to a crit. Bliss is coming, Scarm not coming because he's wary of the uh, Rock Slide Finches. Yeah, coming to Ice Beam. Um, <coughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know the Salamence sprite, so maybe it's do it doesn't... Yeah, it's, it's Modest Blissey, it, sh it shows Modest Blissey, so yeah. Um, I don't understand the Salamence... Oh, okay, he wanted the uh, Salamence to be a, a plus zero, so he doesn't really sweeten a, a kill if Rock Slide finishes the Blissey. I, th I think that was the deal. And also, um, if it's DD Brick Break, Blissey doesn't die. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense. Uh, seismic toss on the spike, yeah, okay, makes sense. Blissey heals, but there is a toxic for a lot of damage. 25%, yes. And will there be will wind here? Skarmory coming on the Broom. Oh. I don't know if Broom is the best Pokemon you could have there. Jarshi coming on the Para, okay. I guess that's a wish. That's a, excuse me, that's a fire punch. And that's a toxic, okay, so that's a defensive GRG with Wish. I would assume it has Wish, Wish, otherwise we would have probably seen a sub already. Yeah, it is Wish. And now it's probably fire punch. Yep. Uh, damage on Skarm which are irrelevant since there is a wish in the... Oh, there is no wish in the air, my bad. Uh, so, good damage. Uh, probably Fire Punch again. No, Blissey coming on the Fire Punch. Yeah, probably, yeah of course. Uh, no, do you just Toxic? I would just Toxic. I, there is no reason not to. Okay, and... Depending on ABR last, it's, it could be tough because... If Jirachi lands a Toxic on Salamence, it's very good. And if it lands a Fire Punch on the Skarmory, it's very good. Oh, Swampers. Fire Punch, burn? No burn, okay. So you probably have to get out. Okay, no, it's Monosurf. He clicked Wish. Okay, it's Parad. Uh, that's why I was... Uh, I think he could have been cautious because... Yeah, maybe he just knows the team or... He has a feeling that the Swampers is... Mono attacker with in this structure because Rosquake on the power would have been huge, but maybe he doesn't just have the choice. Or oh, Toxic on the Fox Punch, that's a surf Fox Punch Swampert. Okay, interesting. I like it actually with uh, Salamence because um, it means that the Blissey won't be at full for Salamence, um, which is really good. Because Salamence really hates Blissey. Oh, so we have Flick Break. Okay, nothing happens. Uh, here you probably... You probably just click Ice Beam with Blissey and get damage on some parts. Yeah. Focus Punch. And it's probably gonna just sack itself to keep you low. And Salamence is gonna win because Jirashi doesn't stop it. Yeah, Salamence is coming right now. Clicking... HP flying or EQ or whatever. Yeah, HP flying. You will have to go to your Jirachi and uh, they click DD as you click Toxic. And oh, 
that EQ, yeah, the click EQ as you try to click toxic on DDD and try to bullshit it. But nothing is gonna happen, you just get parad and you're dead. Uh, even if the toxic goes off, you probably lose. And uh, if it was wish, you have to get the toxic on the DD, trying to predict your product, and if they EQ again, you, you're dead as fuck. Yeah, BR was largely favored in this end game, end game. so the parad doesn't really matter. And now we have the game three, so um, yeah, let's get right into it. We all know the the, the odds and uh, why they are playing for. They are playing for Call of Duty Professional Six, and uh, the seat in the winner bracket is in uh, danger right now for both the players. And we have a DD Tarantar lead, uh, making huge work already. Uh, we will have a second DD, I believe. Oh no, there is an earthquake trying to catch something. Probably a swampert or something like that, but no, there is a scarberry coming, and there will be two rock slides, and one will flinch. And will you GD here or no? You just rock slide because if the yeah, if the war if the toxic is pretty bad, we see a spinner also that looks good already for Batman FE. We probably just have a surf here, yeah, so just surf, and now you probably. Sp Pin or do you predict the Gengar? Yeah, you spin and there will be a spike again, getting uh, some nice leftovers, and there will be Protect, and no Scamora is really, really, uh, not really, but way more high in HP than it was before. You just surf here, I believe. Yeah, just surf. And do you surf again on the Gengar coming? I think you do. Good, good Tarantar, but. Yeah, that's not a Gengar. Would have been a good surf, so on the Tyranitar. I think it's 2 HKO, even if it's a... Uh, yeah, even if it's a bulky me. A crunch, and you're dead. I don't think the crit matters. It's probably a modest Tyranitar. So we had a surf on Blissey, would have paid off. No Tyranitar did it stop, but... Yeah, Skarmory is quite low. Um, DT Tyranitar looks dangerous, so I like it. Oh, I don't think this DD was... The best DD ever, see, seeing all the Tyranitar is good. But okay, you take the demands and there is an arrow, so yeah, okay, okay. I I would say that's quite good for uh, Mr. Batman FE. Double EQ here, uh, trying to catch a double to Tyranitar, makes sense, but there is none, there is a Zapdos, and no, there is a Cladol coming, oh, so that's double spin. Okay, if that's double spin, oh, and that's a boom on the Skarm, okay. And now that's a Metagross, and that's a Shimachi, and that's an EQ, I believe. Yep, that's an EQ, but that's a really, really defensive Jirachi. Or that's a really bulky Metagross, or both. I believe that's uh, Zapdos now. No, that's just EQ. Trying to see what Jirachi does, but it has probably Fire Punch. And if there is a burn, no burn, no crate, uh, the heal comes off from the Wish. And can you beat that Jirachi? I think that's the question. Can Bad Malafi beat the Jirachi? Fire Punch, no burn, EQ, no crate. Ooh, that seems quite... Uh, that, se that doesn't seem to go quite well for Bad Malafi. Okay, there is Zablos coming after losing a lot of health on Metagross. A threat... Oh. Is there no Protect? Oh, there is product, but I don't know why he just didn't click product to get its cell back. Maybe he was throwing a double switch, abusing the free, free turn from the Jirachi. I don't know. Because, yeah, I don't know. No boom here, Zabdos coming and Jirachi coming, getting the free 6% on the leftovers. Products, Toxic. What do you do here? This Jirachi seems... Okay, Fire Punch. Toxic, okay. If it was T-Wave, that was huge, but it wasn't. Um, Blissey on the T-Wave, yeah, okay. Um, probably Metagross coming here, Jirachi doubling to get progress. Not just T-Ball trying to get the Jirachi. And just a Seismic Toast from the Blissey. Will it T-Bolt again? Tarantar comes in. 
I'm not so sure about that because now you die to the second uh, seismic toss and you are not such a threat. There will be rock slide, but Josh is coming. Josh probably doesn't touch this time right now. Oh, there is HP fighting. It's not toxic, it's HP, it's HP fighting. And he wanted to try to do stuff with Aerodactyl. Oh no, but not the risk product. I don't know why the Aerodactyl came. That's just a 3-6%. And I think Josh just wins this game alone with Blissey, not, not risking anything on Zapdos. There will be a Seismic Toss here. Or maybe that's, that's a rest Zapdos. Rest double statues, maybe. It seems to be the case, but even with that, like, Aerodactyl will be able to come when it's when it's asleep. And okay, I I, I have the, the the game plan. He wants Blissilo when his Aerodactyl comes on the opposing Aerodactyls, and if he can eat through the Jirachi, I think he can win. I think that's the plan. Uh, you would need to have a rest on your Zabdos, though. Okay. Sacking the Zabdos. Trying to get as much damage on the Blissey as possible. It's very low. EQ forcing the Aerodactyl to come. Aerodactyl coming. But I was coming on the EQ dying, and that's over because he cannot beat the Jirashi ever. If, oh, EQ. I. Yeah, that just flags because just no Aerodactyl comes and you lose. Oh, maybe there's a sub? Nah, that's bonded damage. Nah, nah, there is no way Balmafi can win this game. Just purely because uh, Aerodactyl is immune to Earthquake. Oh, no, there is a sub. That's not bonded damage. Okay, that's why he's, he's still here. Okay. Um. Okay, so there is actually a game. Uh, because I don't believe HP fighting can kill the sub. And whenever Aerodactyl gets in Lichy range, that's huge. Oh, there is a crit here. But it's okay, there was a wish. The thing is, I'm not sure it has enough Earthquake PP. Maybe the uh, idea is just, yeah, click rock slides and HP flyings. Make them lose their wishes and try to get into Lich range because they cannot kill your sub. And when you get there, uh, there is a shot for you. I think you just eat you here. Yep, trying to get the crit on the wish. Yep, here you sub. Yep. Here you just probably just HP fly or HP bug or whatever it is, I don't know. Uh, it looks to be HP... HP... I don't see. We'll see eventually, I guess. Um, I'm not even sure if you win in Lich Range, but that's more than nothing. Yeah, I don't think you should click a squack like that. I don't know, but Manfi probably made his Cardex. Earthquack, trying to get an HP fighting. He got it, but now nah, he's not uh, getting the berry. Sub here. There will be an HP fighting that won't kill, and now there will be the Lichy, and now there will be Earthquake, and there will be Rock Slide, and there will be the end. I can try to. Yeah, it will go on Iro. Rock slide, yeah, got it. And now Jarashi will just die to two earthquakes, and that's over. Oh, rock slide, oh. He doesn't have any E2 left? Oh, he's just trying to bait protect, okay. Now you just earthquake because uh, they have to get the double protect, and yeah, then you win, okay. Uh, and Ban Manafi will advance to, uh, will stay in the winner bracket, and Abiar is in the losers already, round 2. Yeah, that was a very exciting series, all three games, going into the last month on the last percent of health from Ban Manafi to, to get it. Yeah, I, I quite enjoyed it, so I hope you enjoyed it too. Uh, stay tuned for more games, and see you, I hope, next week. Take care.